Center. I'm Go Local News editor Kate Nagel. I'd like to welcome in my final guest to the studio here, Mike Stenhouse with the Rhode Island Center for Freedom and Prosperity. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, Kate. Great to be with you. It's good to be with you. I know you've been busy today following the Supreme Court ruling about public sector unions and how if people want to opt out, they can do so and not have to pay dues to the unions. Now, you've been talking with national groups about this today. What's the conversation been? Yeah, actually, I want to correct that a little bit. Uh, in an unexpected portion of the ruling today, the Supreme Court said that non-union members, people who are right now are just paying agency fees as non-members, don't even have to opt out. They are considered, as of today, as opted out. So they don't even have to go through any process to check a box or go through some process and order. So, so we're calling on all state and local governments to immediately stop withholding uh, union fees from their paychecks. Okay, so an interesting facet of that. Now, this is something that initially you've been paying attention to for a while, too. Um, what do you have to say to those, especially from the Democratic leadership who decried today's ruling? Well, listen, the truth of it is the unions have been uh, huge funders of, of Democrat candidates. Um, that's fine, but what's not fine is that taxpayer dollars and employees' compensation against their will is being used for political purposes in political campaigns that we don't agree with. Listen, people can still join unions. Uh, they can decide whether to or not, but no, for no longer can taxpayer dollars or more importantly, teacher, police, fire compensation be siphoned off and used for political campaigns that go against your wishes. So this was a this was a call for freedom. This was a defense of the Constitution. I mean, our First Amendment rights, to free speech, free association were decisively upheld and rightfully so by the Supreme Court today. I don't think anybody. Who can disagree with the notion that my money shouldn't be spent, I want it to be spent as a, as a public employee? That's what happened. And so what were the conversations that you had at the national level? You just Was it about that, as you said, that particular portion of the legislation that doesn't require folks to opt out? They currently, as you said, are, so you're calling on the state to take action. Was that the biggest piece of it, or were there others? Well, that was that was a surprise. Uh, the biggest thing we talked about is what we as local organizations can do to raise awareness. Um, I don't know what our island unions will do. But we do know that unions across the country, in, in other cases where states have voted to go right to work, which is a parallel to this, but this is essentially right to work for the employee, that unions have tried to obfuscate and even hide their employees what their real rights are. Today, granted new rights. Will the unions stand in the way of workers exercising those rights? Will they make it difficult for them to exercise those rights? Will even acknowledge to them publicly that you have new rights? So will they try everything they can to preserve their cash cow flow and try to hold on to these members and dues paying non members for as long as they can so they can keep money flowing into the campaign account? That's the question. So do you think, foresee that as being a, a big um, issue for the center moving forward? Again, as you said, working together with uh, national groups for the, the education piece of it. Well, we have a decision to make whether or not uh, our center wants to get involved with some kind of uh, public employee outreach and educational campaign so we can do the best we can to advise employees of their rights. And then we trust that they'll make the right decision whether they join a union or not. But now they know that if they don't join a union, they don't have to pay due uh, or fees of, of any kind right now. So in Michigan, for instance, after they went right to work, public employee membership dropped by about 25%, but not right away, because like I said, in Michigan, the unions tried to hide this fact, tried to make it as difficult as possible for members to opt out. So it's, but it's a big campaign. I don't know that we have enough size and capacity <laughs> to undertake that. Uh, here in Rhode Island, we're only a small think tank and uh, with a few employees. So whether or not we can effectively reach the thousands and thousands of public employees in this state, I don't know. <laughs> well, I appreciate your taking the time. I know if you want to see Mike's statement is on Go Local. So I'm sure we'll continue to follow this issue closely. But of course, you'd wait in on today. So I appreciate your taking the time to Skype in, Mike. Always oh, my pleasure. Thank you, Kate. OK, thanks, Mike. We'll let you go. <clears throat> 
Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center.